Hi and welcome back to the channel. Um, it's a time of year again. We've started going out and uh, meeting up with people and going to events and stuff like that. And a couple of days ago, we were at an event and Chris and Sam got onto the subject of how do you clean your water tanks? And I do this regular and it's a subject that I never really thought um, I would ever do a video about. But obviously this them saying that has highlighted a lot of people don't know how to clean the tanks. Stored water systems, uh, storage water systems, do need to be cleaned, need to be checked regular because they can harbour a lot of bacteria and nasties. So I use a product called, let me find it, PuriClean. This isn't a paid promotion by any means at all. This is just a product I use and like I've done in the past. If I've got something that I find useful i'll share it with you guys this is designed to clean and purify all stored water systems so this is well put it this way we've never had a problem with our water never never even give it a second thought because we do it at the beginning of the season and at the end of the season um because of the hot weather i always do it when we get back after summer and stuff like that just to make sure that there's nothing sitting in our tanks over winter we do use this van less in winter but we still try and get out and about in it so doing that just gives us that little bit of reassurance um, that we're not going to have any nasties turn up in the shower while we're doing the dishes because we don't use the water that we've got on the van for anything other than cleaning and washing we drink bottled water we carry bottled water with us um, it's just something I've done for a long, long time. Um, I'm used to really soft water. We live in the Lake District. Up until recently, all our water was really good. Um, power bit, powers at B have really messed it up. Um, and even now, I struggle to drink our tap water. And I've drank it for nearly 45 years. Just shows you where. And it's all because of that stuff. They worked out they could sell our water and move it around and ship it down to Manchester. So you guys in Manchester, drink up. Because <laughs> we're going without. <laughs> no, it's, it's just one of the things. They've changed it, the water's a lot harder. Our kettles boil more aggressively. So we drink bottled water and we take bottled water with us in the van. So today's video is I'm gonna show you how I purify my tanks. Right, I've just been reading the side of this and it's just to familiarise myself with how it all goes together. But there's a statement on the side of it, and it's quite good. Um, obviously, it's to scare you into using it all the time, but it touches on quite a few things here. Water stored in a tank is exposed to an ideal environment to accumulate dirt, stains, bacteria and algae. Bacteria excrete a slimy biofilm which attaches themselves to the inner surfaces of the tank throughout the and throughout the water system. The bacteria growth will infect the stored water. Biofilms are difficult to remove and require specialist formulas, this stuff, to remove, eradicate and cleanse the complete system. PuraClean will clean, will clean stainless steel and not harm any components. Uh, PuraClean will remove stains and clean many domestic items too. So on the side here, it does tell you that you can use it to clean coffee pots and other, other things, water carrying containers. So if you've got a little water tank that you use every now and then, probably well as well doing that just to keep on top of it. But um, yeah, so for every gallon of water you store, you need a, uh, I think it's a teaspoon, is it? Let me read it again. Uh, dissolve. <laughs> I've just read it somewhere. Anyway, I think it's about one teaspoon for every gallon. Now we have a, a 70 litre tank on there, so around about 15.3 gallons of uh, water stored. So we're now gonna mix up that solution. I think I put a little bit of water in the bottom of there just to stop it from toppling over and uh, we'll get started. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> I recorded all that, well I thought I recorded all that and it didn't. So what, I, what I've done is, I put the funnel in the top of here, I added 15 teaspoonfuls of the, the uh, powder into a little bit of water, I've created a solution, I've agitated it up, um, 
give it a good, good shake. And every time I shake it, there must be something going on. It's creating a bit of a vacuum because the bottle is tightening up. So what we'll do is we'll go and pour that into the tank now and then start pumping it through the system. Pump on. Right, we're going to um, check how our water tank is still full. We've run a little bit off um, just so we've got enough space to get this solution in. But uh, yeah, here, look at that. Great little festival, first week end in September, I believe. Uh, Van Vibes and kids under 16 go free. So that's down south. Um, anybody looking for a festival down there, we'll be there. So keep an eye out for that. Yeah, we will be sharing information on that festival. It's a friend of ours, uh, Lawrence's. Um, it's his first festival, but it's promising to be a good one. So I'm just going to get things set up. Um, I'm bringing the camera out because I need both my hands for this. The tripod, sorry, not the camera. The camera's <laughs> in my hand, isn't it? So what we're going to do is, let me show you. I've added a bit more water to there just to get the solution mixed up a bit more. I'm going to decant that into a watering can with a, f with a, a tube on, uh, with a pipe on, so I can get it down the neck of the van. Right. Um, let's just pull... Oh. <laughs> Shit my pants then. <laughs> I heard a bang behind me, a gate slamming behind me, and then that flap shut, I uh, scared the life out of it. <laughs> right, give that a mix up. Yeah, don't do that. Fuck. Decant that into this watering tank. Watering can, watering tank. Got tanks on the brain. Right, as you can see, no sediment in the bottom, well dissolved. Just pop that top back on there. And what we'll do, we will thread this in here, give it a little try. Yay, it's going the right way, it's not running back. Anyway, what's the audio like? As you can see, we've been using a mic quite a lot lately. Um, we had a few audio issues. If you could just leave a comment, let me know how we're doing. If it's an improvement or not. It should be, shouldn't it? The amount of money we've bloody spent on them as well. They weren't cheap. So that's that done. <gasps> Take two. So that's that done. <laughs> Let's start opening the taps, get everything working, and get that through the system. So we're going to run the tap for a good couple of minutes, um, get it pulled through the system, get it into the pipes. Oh yeah, you can smell it already. Yeah, you can smell it come through the system. It smells like swimming pools, to be honest. Like um, a bit like chloroform. All right, there you go. We've got enough through. So when the water comes through, when it, when the solution comes through, it feels slippy. It's like emulsified the water, if you know what I mean. It's it's like added soap to it. Yeah, it's not a strong smell, but it does smell of of like chlorine. But it's I think, I believe it's a type of salt. But anyway, we've got that through there. We'll do the toilet now. And we'll also do the uh, the shower. Because at the end of the day, we don't want any dead legs where bacteria could breed or accumulate. Now, we also do the hot water as well. So what we've done there is we've pulled water through the hot water tank. And it's currently now sitting in there. We had water, hot water at the tap and we had it at the shower so all of our system now is currently sitting being cleaned um anything else to tell you is, oh yeah we uh we also let that run into our grey tank and let it sit in there for a good 12 hours and then what we'll do is we'll break the seal on that 
No, we won't. <laughs> I ripped my tap off, didn't I? I got out the van and I could hear it running, so yeah. Ah. So that's just reminded me I should uh, go and order a new tap. Anyway, at least the uh, grey water pipes will be clean and free from bacteria as they get cleansed as well. <laughs> oh dear. Just goes to show, doesn't it? Um, you do forget the little jobs. That's, that happened last year. I really need to start jotting things down. I think, I've, uh, I think I'm losing it. <laughs> so right, we're gonna leave that now. Gonna leave that for, well, 24 hours. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll let it all go. Yesterday we cracked on, we, uh, we put the Puri Clean into the system. Now something I maybe commented on at the time was the smell, and I, it smelled a bit chlorine and uh, I never give that a second thought. I did, however, when I realised the damage it has done to my clothes. Now, there's no warning on the side of the bottle, but I've had a little look on the, uh, on the safety data sheet for this product. And it is a chlorine-based bleaching agent. Now on here, on the side of this packet, the only ingredient that's listed, let me have a read. It's a little, I don't know how to, if I'm pronouncing it properly. Contains amongst other ingredients, troclacine sodium, whatever that is. But um, have a look at my jeans that I was wearing last night. So it's bleached them. So just take care. Um, I didn't expect that to happen, and if it was going to happen, I would have expected some warning to be on here. There's very little information on there, to be honest, but it is good at what it does. <laughs> so, um, I have looked in on the safety data sheet as well, about when we flush the tanks, and we're doing the right thing, we're mixing it with lots of water, and uh, we shouldn't be causing any environmental issues either. We release this straight onto the drive, and it just soaks in. So it's our time. Let's go and cycle this stuff out of the system. Um, and basically, we're just going to flush it. So I've already um, started topping up the tank. Oh yeah, we used a little bit of water yesterday, so I've topped that back up. So it's now time. To let the first lot go, and uh, I have a little tap just located here. So we'll let that go and we'll come back to it in about 10-15 minutes. While that's dumping off the main tank, we're going to run some water through the pipes as well. Get rid of the last of that um, cleaning solution. Um, being careful not to run the pump dry. Uh, they don't like it. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on things. Um, I, have, I do have a gauge here. Yeah, we're down. we've got two thirds left. So we'll let that run for a little while, fill up the sink. I think what we'll also do is we shall run the toilet as well. Get some through there. And the same with the shower. We need to have a little clean in here before we go away tomorrow. I think that's enough. Let's check. Right, we're down to one. So that's happily emptying away there. So let's turn the pump off so we don't damage it. And we'll just let that empty off. Don't do this if you're dying for a wee. I'm happy with that. We're down to a trickle now, so let's just turn that off. So the next stage now is to fill the tank again. So we'll fill that right up to the top and then we'll just clean the rest of the lines and then top that tank off. And that is us finished after that. So I'll crack on and do that and uh, come back to you. I'm actually having to hold the hose pipe in. I, uh, I lost the bit that goes in here that connects to the end of the hose. So <laughs> I can't imagine where I've left it. 
um, it's a brilliant bit of kit as well you know you just plug it on go about your business and uh, come back to it when you hear it gurgling <laughs> um, so yeah I'll be here for the next few minutes full tank of fresh water so what I'm going to do now is just pull it through until let me just drop it down a little bit until this water doesn't feel slippy anymore you know at the beginning I said it feels a little bit like it's got a emulsifier in it like soap in it so we'll just keep pulling it through it still has that smell so what we'll do is we'll run it right through the system once we get it to the sink I'll then go back do the toilet not really bothered too much about the toilet but I'll go and do the shower um, there's no harmful effects from the toilet it's not coming in contact with anybody so I wouldn't want anybody to get this in their eyes there you go, job done um, like I said the toilet's not really an issue so that's it basically that is the process from start to finish um, I've included every step show you what I do the last thing I will do now is I'll top up the tank um, just to give us that last little bit of space you know so we're running at full capacity um, it is recommended you do this twice a year, beginning of the season and the end of the season. But also if you're travelling abroad, um, in a hotter climate, it's recommended you do it more frequently. Uh, again, if you're using public um, fill-up points, I would probably, every time I fill up, I would throw a tablet in, um, for the plain and simple fact. You don't know how hygienic other people are. And I have witnessed people cleaning out toilet cassettes with drinking water hoses. Um, you cannot tell me that there isn't an issue there. So for peace of mind, um, again, remembering we don't drink this water. We just use it for cleaning and washing. So stick the tablet in. The tablets are a small dose and they just keep topping up the system, keeping it clean. So yeah, that's it. That's the whole process. Um, it's a strange one, yeah, I know, but if you don't know, you don't know what you don't know. So, coming across um, Chris and Sam at Willowfields the other week there, and them not knowing or never cleaning the tanks before, it was just, well, hang on a minute, maybe, maybe there is people that need or would like to see how we do ours. But that's it done, that's it done for another few months that's the second time i've done it this year already but i had to obviously i hadn't recorded this year and um, the old footage that i had was a little bit outdated so we've done it again for you um i hope you've liked it and uh look forward to seeing you all soon take care if you like what we're doing share it give us a thumbs up leave a comment and uh if you're new to the channel please subscribe to you guys that keep us moving and keep us motivated so thank you very much and uh I told you in the last video about a new channel that we're going to start um, I maybe was a bit hasty with that I think I need to post a video for people to find it so anybody that's been looking for it I apologize I will get a video out there soon and um, welcome you to the channel I might even do it this weekend <laughs> okay anyway thanks for watching we'll see you again why not head over and check out our new website www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group The Crafty Blinder Van Builds Thanks for watching